Hi everybody, I'm Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. And right now I'm standing on a rock where there is, I don't want to say death, but death on that side and that side. And it's my new friend, Chen Yanai, who convinced me to climb out here. And we want to talk about the Machtesh Remon. And I would tell you what a Machtesh is. Some call it a crater. Others say it's a canyon, but it's actually neither. And there's no word in English for it. I'm with a tour guide, Chen Yanav. And Chen, tell me, what is a Machtesh? Well, Machtesh was formed by erosion. There was a mountain here. And the mountain tilted a bit when the Syrian African rift happened. And then all the water looked for an easy way down, you know, to the lowest pos so possible. So this was all underwater at one time? This was all underwater at one time. And then the water, I mean, the water level went down. The peak of the mountain got exposed and then there was a little lake that was formed on top. Uh, at one point, the mountain tilted a bit and the water looked for a way down. And they went down all the way to the Dead Sea, which is 70 kilometers away from here, 400 meters below sea level. And we are right now standing approximately 1,000 meters above sea level. So they went down really fast, taking with them all the sand and, and, and particles that they can take from the mountain. And this is how the Machtesh Ramon was formed. Seven such Machteshim exist in the world, only seven all in our region. We have the Machtesh HaKatan mm -hmm. near Dimona, mm -hmm. the small Machtesh. We have a Machtesh HaGadol near Yerucham, the big Machtesh. Mm -hmm. We have two small Machteshim near the border of Egypt and two Machteshim in the Sinai, very small ones. You can put the so whole So at one six... time they were all in Israel? Yes. One time we they were back all... to Sinai. Exactly. Exactly, and you can put the whole six inside the Ramon crater. So where are we geographically? Is our, our folks at home, they just know we're in Israel, but where are we in Israel? We're in the Negev. The Negev is the southern part of Israel. The Negev is 65% uh, of Israel is desert, and we define that as the Negev. Be'er Sheva is the capital of the Negev, mm -hmm. and Mitzpe Ramon is the capital of tourism in the Negev. This is the, why people come here. You see the beauty around us and people come here because they really want to experience that. So this massive Machtesh, I'm gonna call it a crater, forgive me, but just so our real yeah. people don't understand, how big is this crater? Well, it's 42 kilometers, approximately 30 miles long and approximately seven kilometers wide. It has a shape of a very long and narrow heart if you look at it from above. Mm -hmm. So you cannot really say exactly, you know, how big it is. And, and while we were standing up here, we saw five or six IDF F-16s fly by. Th this is where they train? Yes, uh, yes. The Negev is the military playground. <laughs> I mean, this is where they practice. This is where they train. So unfortunately for us and for the animals that live here, I mean, here, once in a while we do hear the airplanes, you know, mm -hmm. moving around, but... Uh, this, we, what, we need to have that for our what safety. What kind of wildlife would we see out here? Well, the last leopard was seen in the Negev five years ago. Wow. So we believe there are no more leopards in the Negev. But we have hyenas and we have wolves, we have foxes. Yeah, uh, Elim, we have ibex. ibex, a lot. And ibex is our, almost like our domestic pet here in, <laughs> here in Mitzpah Ramon. There is a program now to try and reintroduce biblical animals into the desert. Uh, they tried with the wild horse, Mm -hmm. what we call in Hebrew a peri, and they did really well. They introduced 20 in the early 80s, and now we have like 500 of them. Wow. I mean, they're very shy animals, and the minute they hear us, they will try to run away as fast as possible, but you can see them, and it's a beautiful, it's an amazing animal. Would they, King David, before he was king, when he was running from King Saul, Shaul, would he have come down here? There are... Uh, people who claim that King David, King Saul, King uh, uh, Solomon. Shlomo, Solomon, they were here. I mean, people discuss that. I mean, there is no like real scientific evidence to prove that, but many people claim that they were here long before, you know, the Nabataeans and the Bedouins and all mm -hmm. other people ruled the desert. Thank you so much, Chen, for spending this time with me. And uh, friends, if you want to catch all of our episodes, just go to God.tv.